everybody and welcome to another video in the monthly series. This video is for October and October has been a weird one. It's now officially so late in the year that it's this dark when I go to work, which means it's winter. You guys, I visited my grandmother the other day and she had like a mass amount of albums laying around. I thought I'd take some of them and show you guys some awesome pictures of me when I was little. How miserable can you look? My dad rocking the mullet mustache combo. Oh, here we go. Here's the stuff. It's the story of my life. Me trying to kiss guys who are not interested behind the bushes. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I feel a little bit sorry for him. Christmas with me and my great grandmother. And there's my mum rocking that 80s style. So I kind of just realized that Today marks one year of me moving back to Norway. Um, but what made me think of it was actually watching Hazel, that's Hazel Hayes, who also does this kind of like monthly series, kind of like. She does the monthly series that I kind of copied to make my monthly series. And I was watching her video on August and her talking about this year's August versus her last year's August, which was the August when she broke up with her boyfriend. That made me think of today, the day that I chose to leave Denmark, leave the comfortable and familiar that was there, and take a risk in moving back to Norway, hoping that everything would sort itself out. Now if you're a recurring viewer of mine you know that that's not how it happened. So not very different from Hazel's situation actually. And I decided to go back and watch her episode from August last year and see in quotes how she handled it. She talks about grief and how you handle losing someone and how you might feel and how it's important to have people around you and all I have done is isolate myself and not really wanting to talk about it because I feel like I'm wearing people thin. There's nothing really to talk about. I'm still angry and talking about it hasn't made me any less angry. It's actually made me more angry and I think that's how Hazel and I differ. But in other ways, I see so many things of myself in her and in that video that she made last August where everything just kind of can fall apart so quickly and yeah, everything can be ruined so fast. I don't really know how to wrap this up, so I'm just gonna say goodnight, because I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. Hi, guys. So today I'm actually in a hotel room. You might be able to tell this is not my usual flat, you know, because my one of my best friends in the world is doing a competition today. It is a fitness competition, which makes a lot of people a bit uneasy, but I think it's actually really cool. Uh, it's not something I could do myself. I know that it takes a lot of discipline and self-control to do something like that. So we're here at 8.30 in the morning. She's already left because I've done her hair and makeup for stage and I'm getting ready to leave. So that is really cool and I'm really nervous for her. <laughs>
don't have a mustache, it's just chocolate. <laughs> right, so I baked a cake for my friend who was competing today, which was the footage that you've probably already seen editing me. Did you put it in the right order? Uh, so yeah, this cake is uh, the first thing that I baked cake-wise since I was on the Norwegian version of the GBBO. So um, you can say that I kind of had high expectations for myself. Uh, I did a couple of things I've never done before, which were make meringue and caramel sauce. So hopefully people like it, people eat it, and they don't feel sick. Ooh, so meringue. Very frosty. Such chocolate. Wow. So glittery. Having something of a Stranger Things moment. Someone trying to tell me something? Oh, it stopped now. I think. Oh, no, there it is. Hello, Will Byers, is that you? Are you stuck in the. What's it called? Opposite? The over under? The roundy thing? I can't remember. Apparently, it didn't make much of an impression. I also spent some time in the National Gallery, which is something that I think that I do way too little of. Looking at art, appreciating culture, doing things like, you know, going to shows and things that aren't necessarily super expensive. Just going around and looking at these incredibly famous paintings, things like Manet and Monet and Picasso, and of course, Monk as well. Perhaps you maybe didn't know that it was Norwegian, but it is the screen picture, you know, that the one that the emoji is actually based on, but... Oh. Another reason why... <laughs> I'm laughing now and you'll see why. Another reason why October is one of my favourite months is because of Halloween. Now I am fundamentally opposed to the concept of dressing slatty for Halloween, which is why I always go completely in the opposite direction and go really scary and kind of gory instead. Hi! Just... <laughs> Sorry about this. This is casually doing a Halloween look. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already have seen this, but uh, this is basically what I'm going for this year. Kind of like a black doll, yeah, sort of thing. It makes it kind of hard to be because I've got all this clothing on my lips. Because I'm doing a kind of like do with what you have at home with simple means kind of thing. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, probably it. Might do some makeup for my eyes, but otherwise than that, this is what I'm sticking to this year. Woo! Hope you guys have a good Halloween! Can't smile either. Right guys, I hope you've had a really good October and that you're looking forward to November even though November is my least favourite month because it is grey and long and boring and it's not Christmas and everything's kind of mm. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Christmas myself, I am even less a fan of nothing, which is November. So let's get through it together and have some fun, shall we? The very, very last thing that I want to say, which I probably won't be mentioning a lot, is that I have set up a Patreon page for my YouTube channel. Now, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it is a kind of GoFundMe or a pledge kind of campaign page where people can pledge an amount of money that they want to donate to a creator or an actor or a singer or anything like that. It's not something that I expect anyone who watches my videos to do. I don't expect anything from anyone when it comes to money. I just want to say that outright. If it would happen that some people would like to donate and I would be able to raise a certain amount of money I would definitely do special and unique treats and videos and things for the people who do donate but like I said it's not something that I'm going to be banging on about and asking people to donate for every video that I do because that's kind of cheap I feel and uh, it's not it's something that I expect from anybody I will see you all very soon and I hope you guys have a good November bye guys <laughs>